um so the validation i mean uh, the f- notifications how uh, it will be in in opportunity uh, in any of the object so we will take uh, the opportunity itself we'll go to opportunity then go to edit layout okay so uh, it's fine so we will we will be in opportunity layout section and here uh, so we we can go to the event listeners and so when we wanted to fire the uh, notification so that's what we will we are going to define is it based on field change or it is is it, is it based on some uh, before update before uh, after update so something like this events so we'll select opportunity field change value and then create a action chain uh, once action chain is created so now you go to the action chain diagram so here uh, you can basically uh, add your logic right um so to fire a notification uh so you filter with notification so this is the notification component that we have okay. and go to properties so this fire notification will have the properties so um so it will have some summary message uh suppose in in detail page we'll try to write some validation so based on the win probability win probability actually should be uh, greater than 1 okay, so that that might be our validation so i'll write that validation message here and then the message is uh, something like um so the notification will come in two parts the the uh, main one and then the below message uh so i'll show you that something like i'll update this in a message okay. um then display mode there will be two modes persistent and transient uh so persistent means it will be it will be there for it will be there always until we uh, close that message transient so it will be uh it will disappear after some time uh, in in 10 seconds or 5 uh, seconds it will disappear uh then notification type is uh we need to choose whether it's information or error or warning or confirmation so these are the four different message types we have So if you want to uh, show as an error, so you can choose error, or if you want to show as warning, uh, so then you can choose warning and confirmation. Um, so I'll choose error, and then I'll. and then i'll preview
go to the de details page and so i'll update uh, okay so now we don't have any condition basically so it, uh, it triggers always okay. as soon as uh, we update something here and it is uh, triggering this error message okay and so this is how the message and the summary will looks like so summary will be uh, it will be uh, like this and and then the message message part is this so since we we have uh, chosen the persistent so it is it is there always okay but uh, if we change the mode uh to transient okay. and once the error pops up so it will disappear automatically after a uh, few seconds Now it disappeared automatically. And uh, now uh, we need to add some condition to this, right? And we have, we are in uh, on field change event listener, right? So this is a kind of a field trigger. So we can right click on this and then we can uh, surround this with if condition so that it will be conditional. Now, when we want to trigger this is, uh, so we can define in the condition. So go to this and add a condition and, and click on here. And here you can select the conditions. So mode will give whether it's edit mode or single field update mode. Uh, then you can see a modified field. So what is the modified field? So in this case, uh, the modified field will be when should we trigger is when prop. So that should be the API name, I guess. So let me verify. So the win prop is the API name. So we added the condition. So now it triggers only when the field is changed uh, of type win prop and then we need to add one more condition that is So this gives the modified fields and then we'll take the current row. We'll add this condition later uh, in code mode. Now we'll preview this.
now if i modify uh, something like other field it doesn't trigger okay. but if i try to modify the win probability it will trigger because it's a conditional we'll go to code mode So now I'll add one more condition that is uh, based on event dot row. And then dot uh, the Field name that is when prop is greater than if it is uh, less than uh, one. I'll put if it is less than or equal to one. So then we'll add, we'll make the condition. So now we'll uh, preview this scene. Now I'll change this to one so it is triggering and now i'll change it to uh, something 10 it's not triggering because it is more than one okay now the same message um so if i want to um if I want as uh, information or warning. So I'll preview this. So this is the warning. And then information. So this is the information uh, message. Then we'll finally see the confirmation. So this information confirmation mostly looks same. Uh, basically, once uh, some action is completed, you can uh, you can give this confirmation message. You can use this confirmation uh, message. And if you want to inform something, then you can choose the information. Okay. So this is the confirmation. So it will be in a, uh, uh, it will be little, it has something, right? So the chat uh, confirmation tag and so this is how you can uh, use the 
uh, fire notification to display the messages.